Hi, this is Munson with Munson Music. I'm going to talk about how you play a song called Latch by Disclosure. And, and we'll end up cabling this on first fret to kind of match the recording. We're going to walk through a couple things in reposition. And there's this cool little bass line actually is kind of the intro at the very beginning where you may want to just play the open E string. And we kind of end up doing that about 16 times. I got a four measures of four. Um, or you could back that up with a chord by starting on an E minor chord that we play E minor. First finger goes to the A on the second fret. Second finger on the D string, second fret. And if you strum all those together, that sounds an E minor chord and it sounds really, really sad. Now, while you're on E minors in general, it can be kind of cool to add in the third finger on the B string, third, pinky on the high E third. You kind of work that as an E minor seven chord. And through that intro, you may want to just kind of work just a down idea actually on that. Kind of a down killer, down with muting could be kind of a cool way to intro the tune. Or one of my favorite strum patterns for a 4 4 like this is down, down, up, up, down, up. So we took the E minor and just tried that a lot. You have down, down, up, down, 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 Or a cool variation of that could be a down, up, down, up, up, down, up. So down, 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 And then from that intro, then we go into our main verse progression on an A minor chord. And then we play A minor, first finger goes to the B string on the first fret, second finger on the D string, second fret, and third finger on the G string, second fret. And if you strum all those together, that sounds an A minor chord. It sounds really, really sad. Now while you're on A minors in general, it can be kind of cool to lift off the first finger and make that an A suspended second. Or you could add in the pinky on the B string third for an A sus and kind of say some things around the A minor. Or you could take the A minor shape and lift off three for an A minor seven chord. Or you could take the pinky and kind of add it on the high E third for another way to play A minor. Or you may dig on an A7 sus, where you do first finger on the D second, second finger on the G second, third finger on the B string third, pinky on the high E third, and kind of work that for your third band. And then from the A minor, we go to an E minor chord. And then from the E minor, we go to our D major chord. We play D major. First finger goes to the G on the second fret, second finger on the high E second fret and third finger on the B string, third fret, and if you strum the D string to the high E string, that sounds a D major and it sounds really happy. And on Ds in general, it can be kind of cool to lift off the second finger and make that a D suspended second, or you could add in the pinky on the high E third for a D suspended chord and kind of say some things around the D chord. And then from the D on our first, we go to an F major chord. F major. Normally you do this as a bar on first fret, we'll talk about some easier options too. But then second finger goes to the G, second fret, third finger on the A third, pinky on the D third. And if you strum all those together, that sounds an F major bar chord that sounds really, really happy. Now you can substitute for that if you're just starting out. It's something called F major seven, where you do first finger on the B string, first fret, second finger on the G, second fret, third finger on the D string, third fret. And if you strum the D string to the high E string, that sounds an F major seven chord that sounds really groovy happy. Now another possibility would be an F major 13, if you kind of want an A7 sus idea, where you could do first finger on the G second, second finger on the D third, third finger on the B third, pinky on the high E third, and kind of work that for your F. And that way you can almost kind of leave the three and the four down through that main verse progression. Kind of E minor D, more than D sus, and F major 13. Now you could kind of work that as kind of a down idea, kind of that eight downs on each chord might be kind of a cool and sneaky way to kind of work it through the verse. And I'm kind of adding a little bit of muting to that just to kind of make that a little bit sneaky. So you can kind of dig on that. A minor, E minor, E, F. Or you may dig on the down, down, up, up, down. A minor, E minor, E, F. A minor, E minor, D, F. Or you may dig on that very times and then going into our, our main chorus progression where we start on the A minor and then we go to an E minor chord but then you kind of hear the bass go to a B note actually kind of on the A string second fret and you could back that up with a B minor chord 
and normally you do this as a second fret bar. We'll talk about some easier ways to do this too. Um, but then two goes on the B string third, third finger on the D string fourth, and the pinky on the G string fourth fret. And if you strum all those together, that sounds a B minor chord. It sounds really, really sad. Now you may also want to think about lifting off the pinky and making that a B minor seven chord. Or another way to play B minor seven is to do first finger on the A second, second finger on the G second, third finger on the high E second, kind of working that for your B minor. Or if you're digging on that A seven sus E minor seven voicing, um, you could do first finger on the A second, second finger on the G second, third finger on the B string third, pinky on the high E third. Kind of work that for your B minor. And then from the B minor, we'll be going back to our F major chord at the very end. So you can work that with any of those strum patterns too. Kind of that A minor, E minor, B minor. Instead of starting on an A minor chord, Disclosure is actually starting on a B flat minor chord. So to play along with the recording, what you want to do is take a capo, and if you put the capo on first fret, then now your A minor is really a B flat minor, and your E minor is really an F minor, and your D major is really an E flat major, and your F major is really a G flat major, and when we get to the B minor chord, it's really a C minor. But to take it from the very beginning, you may want to kind of kick it off with, with kind of that open E string, kind of working that. Or you could do the E minor chord with kind of the down strokes. Or if you want to fill in that time, you could do the down, 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 Or something else that I like to add to a song like this too is bass notes. And a lot of times on that first down of the down, down, up, up, down, up, you're throwing a bass for the chord. You have low E for the bass. On the A minor, you have the A for the bass. On the D, you have the D for the bass. On the E minor, you have the A for the bass. And on the F bar, you have low E for the bass. And on the F major, so you have the D for the bass. So you can kind of work that through the intro that way and kind of add, add some basses kind of on that low E string for the bass. ways to kind of A minor around these chords too, you know, feel free to take this lesson and kind of embellish it any way you want to. So it can always be kind of cool to kind of add and subtract things from the chords and kind of see what you can see with it too.
verse and kind of repeating our chorus. Now as a random aside, D major is really only one note away from B minor. So if you wanted to, if, if, if that seems really tricky to get into the B minor, you could actually probably get by playing the entire song actually just using that verse progression that we were talking about. The A minor, E minor, and the D and the F. So if that's a little bit easier for you, you could definitely do it that way. But that's the basics of how you can strum through latch by disclosure. So good luck! <laughs>